scored well up top. Nothing there on the punch by George Foreman. Foreman's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Blood coming from the nose of big George Foreman. That's an impactful right hand by George Foreman. Jab right hand. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. What a destructive headshot by George Foreman. Cross landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Not able to land the headshot. Isaac Frost corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it, you are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Bro. Round number five has arrived. George Foreman's opening up this round with a lot of momentum. Now, down on your scorecard, but he clearly won the last round and carries that into this round. Well, look, the old-time trainer, my trainer, Customato, used to always say there's no such thing as a one-round championship fight. You know, you got to do it. You do it to be the top guy round after round for a lot of rounds together. Well, that's what it's about right now. Yeah, he had a couple bad rounds. But now he has a chance to be back in this fight and show that his worth is down his stretch. Big, big shot to the head. He left the hole. It was close. That straight right unable to connect. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Dismisses his opponent's head shot. Now committing to that jab, straight hand, and it works out. How is he taking these kind of shots and just dismissing them? What a chin on this guy. Yeah, well, what a neck on him. Look at that neck. I mean, it's about 19 inches. That is the shock absorber. But the rest of it is he's seeing it. He has good vision. He sees the shots coming, and he's making up his mind. They're not taking him anywhere. Great hook to the head that time. Little double jab to the head. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Isaac Frost showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. The left hand coming into play by George Foreman. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by George Foreman. Now, this is a version of Isaac Frost we're not used to seeing, a damaged version of Isaac Frost. He needs to smother his opponent right now. You gotta get back into this fight. You gotta keep working. Keep working. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Or keep that up. Keep moving. The start of the sixth round. Isaac Frost got to be thrilled with what he was able to accomplish in the first half of this fight. And as we start this round, clearly he wants to keep things in the same order. Well, part of the testing of anybody being successful in anything, in boxing, in anything, is how do you handle prosperity? We're going to find that out right now. I know that sounds like a good problem to have, but... How about that left right there? Foreman's gaining momentum on his side. Solid. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown 
after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. That is an ice cold right hand by Isaac Frost. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Halfway through round six. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Oh, he is stunned, he could go down. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now. Just walk, oh, that's gotta hurt. Every punch landed in that combination and he goes down hard. Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The ref is stopping this fight. George Foreman's gunned down.